The man once known as America's banker has had a very bad year and it could get worse. JP Morgan chief Jamie Dimon has a $13 billion settlement on the table with the Justice Department. That's a record sum. So what happened? JP Morgan in the heat of the crisis was seen as an oasis in the housing meltdown and the only bank strong enough to acquire failing Bear Stearns and Washington Mutual. Now those acquisitions are coming back to haunt Jamie Dimon. The proposed settlement alleges that JP Morgan, along with Washington Mutual and Bear Stearns, packaged faulty loans into financial securities that were sold to investors. The loans blew up, starting a chain reaction that basically almost took down the global economy. So what happens now to a man once whispered as a good choice for Treasury Secretary, a master deal maker, an unmatched banker? He has been supported by shareholders in the past, and that's likely to continue. The stock is up 29% over the past year. $13 billion in fines, penalties, and consumer relief. It is a huge sum, but JP Morgan is a cash machine. It's about half of the year's profit. We know the bank lost money last quarter because of its legal fees, but we know that the bank is holding $23 billion in reserve to pay future legal claims. Hardly. The settlement could open the door for criminal prosecutions, for lawsuits, and for heavy fines. Jamie Dimon has said he would love to put these troubles behind the bank, but he may not have that luxury.